Well, former Director of Strategy and Policy for the U.S. Transportation Command, a 34-year veteran, Rear Admiral David F. Bauckham, he's resigned after a drunken, naked incident, which occurred when he was reportedly walking around a hotel wasted. He urinated on himself. Well, Bauckham, he was reprimanded, Jose. Here's what happened. They have this conference um, at the Ponta Vedra Inn and Golf Club. And, um, of course, it's a, it's a conference, go figure, with, with contractors and what they can and can't do. And apparently he gets really wasted, bumps his head on a bar stool, goes up to his room, somehow locks himself out of his room naked. I guess the door shuts behind you and locks automatically. No key. He's stumbling around and um, two guests spot him. They call security and he gets you know, escorted Rousey. back to his room. He does urinate on himself, which is really embarrassing. Um, but, uh, you know, exposing your bow and stern, not the best idea not if you're all. a Navy admiral. Admiral. So what's his fate? Well, he's, he's had a pretty serious fate. So the Washington Post, they reported this story. And as if that wasn't embarrassing enough, you know, he was um, found uh, for disorderly conduct, unbecoming an officer. He was reprimanded. He was forced to, le to leave the Pentagon and leave his post. 34 years of service gone for one naked incident. That's kind of sad. And you'll be surprised. You know, seamen, they're supposed to keep their alcohol down, and this guy just comes down and just ends the reputation of good drinkers that the Navy has. Now, what is his alibi? What is he claiming that, that <laughs> was the reason why he, he got involved in this situation? Well, he does have some health issues. He's saying, look, he's, 50, he's 56 years old. He's blaming... Um, Mixing the alcohol with taking prescription medication, which I'm not really sure how that helps his case, but um, this is what he had to say. After extensive medical testing and diagnosis, four doctors have stated in writing that I most probably experienced an atrial fibrillation event the evening of April 8th, which caused lightheadedness, disorientation, dizziness, and confusion. So he's saying, look, I mixed my heart meds with a little alcohol, wound up naked. Yes, I peed on myself, but honestly, it wasn't me. It was the medication. I don't buy it. I don't buy it a single bit. I think Neither he did the US just didn't. Navy. Yeah, I don't think he he miscalculated the amount of, of, of pain medications and alcohol that he took that night, and then he's facing the consequences of not being able to, you know, have a little bit of good judgment and just keep it inside of your room. You, you can get all hammered and wasted as much as you want. Just keep it inside of your room. Don't go out naked and pee on yourself when you are in an official function. Although these marketing conferences in hotels, they are wild. They, they, the marketing companies that right. put this together, they make sure these guys are drinking, they're having a good time because that's the only way they spend. So, you I know. I felt bad for the guy. You it know, is, he it looks is a like tough a nice situation. guy. You know, he doesn't have any, any you know, he doesn't have any, crim you know, no any, record any of, past. Oh. And I think that should be taken into account too. I mean, it's unfair that if this guy commits one mistake, now his whole career after 30 plus years of serving goes down the drain. Maybe it was an honest mistake. Maybe he was like, oh, it, it won't be that bad. Maybe and it was he lost medication. Control. Maybe it was. Seriously, and then you have the Naval Inspector General on your ass, you know, censoring you, taking away your retirement, pay and forcing you to resign. So it's easier. It's easier to just get, a, get rid of the problem instead of trying to see if there's any possibility of him having a... Uh, a chance to redeem himself. Right. Well, since the incident, he's been transferred from the U.S. Transportation Command and, um, you know, censored, slapped with disorderly conduct, forced to resign, all because of one drunken evening. I'm going to leave you guys with this. What can't you do with a drunken sailor? Apparently, you can't make him pee in a toilet.